Hi, my name is Lawrence and I work in the Practice Standards team at the RCVS. In this video guide, I will talk you through the steps that you need to complete on Stanley in the post-inspection stage of an initial, routine, upgrade accreditation or spot check assessment. These include viewing your assessment report, uploading and submitting evidence and completing your assessment. You can watch this video in full or you can skip to the relevant sections by using the marker tool below. After your assessment, your assessor will submit their feedback to the practice standards team. Their comments will be reviewed and a review report should be released to you within six to eight weeks. This report will show the outstanding requirements you need to complete as well as general feedback comments. Your assessor may have discussed some outstanding issues at your assessment, but you should not take any action to resolve these or upload evidence to show that you have done so until you have received your review report. This is because the approved comments in your report may differ from those provided during the assessment and we don't want you to spend time and effort and possibly even money unnecessarily. You will receive a notification on your dashboard as well as via email once your review report has been created. To view your report, click on the arrow in the notification. Then click on the Assessment Report tab in your assessment event. A PDF version of your report can be found in the Review Reports section. Click on the download symbol to download the report. The review report contains your assessor's general comments areas of best practice and any recommendations they have for you. It also lists the requirements that weren't met at your assessment along with feedback from your assessor on what the issues were and the evidence that you need to provide to show that they have been resolved. The evidence deadline for each requirement is also listed. As well as the review report, the requirements that weren't met are shown in the mandatory requirements currently under review section at the bottom of the assessment report tab. These will appear as red until they have been resolved. You can expand each module and accreditation level to view the requirements that weren't met. You can then expand an individual requirement to view your assessor's feedback comments as well as the evidence deadline. Don't forget, if there are multiple premises in your group, you will need to go to the assessment event for each of the premises to view its review report and mandatory requirements currently under review. Use the Quick Change Premises or Practice Structure features to go to the PSS Events area for your other premises. You will need to address each issue outlined in your assessor's feedback comments and provide the requested evidence by the specified deadlines. If all the requirements were met at your assessment, then well done, you have passed outright and your administrator will confirm with you that your assessment is complete. You can still view your assessor's general comments via the Assessment Report tab. Once you have resolved an issue, you will need to upload the requested evidence to the relevant requirement. Click on the Assessment Report tab. Scroll down to the Mandatory Requirements currently under Review section. Expand the relevant module, accreditation level and requirement. Click on Attached Files then click on Attach File. Find your relevant evidence file on your computer. Single click on the file and hold, drag it across and drop it into the rectangular box with the dashed border. The file will automatically save to Stanley. Alternatively, click within the rectangular box to search the file on your computer, then double click on it to attach it. After you've attached your evidence, you'll also need to indicate on the system that the requirement has been addressed. Go to Add Feedback and type in any further comments you might have to support your evidence. Select Yes in response to Has the issue been resolved? Then click Save Feedback.
The green light bulb will show next to the requirement indicating that you've addressed the issue. If you are providing written confirmation that an issue has been resolved, you can add this as feedback in the Add Feedback section. You should then click to indicate that the issue has been resolved before saving your feedback. Once you have uploaded all the evidence that is due by the latest deadline, you can click the Ready for Post Inspection Re-Review button in the Actions to Take box. Remember, if there are multiple premises in your practice group, you'll need to upload the evidence that is due for each premises to its assessment event. Your assessor will now review your evidence to confirm that the issues have been resolved. This process can take up to three weeks. You will receive a notification on your dashboard once your evidence has been reviewed and your updated report has been produced. Click on the arrow in the notification, then click on the Assessment Report tab. You can download a copy of the latest version of your report, which will show all of the requirements that are still outstanding from the Review Reports section. In the Mandatory Requirements Currently Under Review section, the requirements that have been confirmed as resolved by your assessor will now show as green. If you uploaded evidence that was not satisfactory, the requirement will still be marked as not met and you will see a blue exclamation mark symbol next to it. There will also be an updated feedback comment for the requirement and a new evidence deadline will have been set. Please contact your assessor directly via Stanley if any instructions regarding the evidence are not clear. If you did not upload any evidence against a requirement, then it will still be marked as not met. You will now need to upload the evidence that is due by the next deadline following the same process as before. Remember to click the Ready for Post Inspection Re-Review button in the Actions to Take box once your new evidence has been uploaded. Once all of the outstanding requirements have been resolved, you will receive a notification on your dashboard to confirm that your event is complete. We will send confirmation of your accreditation by email along with copies of the PSS accreditation logos. If there are multiple premises in your group and there is still evidence due for your other premises, you will need to continue uploading evidence until all of the assessment events are complete. We will then confirm compliance for the practice group as a whole. We will send your accreditation certificates to you shortly after you have been confirmed as compliant, as long as all outstanding fees have been paid. Thanks for watching.